jedem Tage der Machtübernahme begann die Wiederaufrichtung der deutschen Wehrmacht. Gleichlaufend mit der Aufrichtung des deutschen Heeres, der Schaffung der neuen Luftwaffe, erfolgt der Neubau einer unseren Bedürfnissen genügenden Kriegsmarine. Our story begins with a thunderous roar in the skies. The Messerschmitt ME-262, the world's first operational jet-powered fighter aircraft. Conceived in a time of innovation and desperation, the ME-262 represented a technological leap. With a top speed of over 540 miles per hour, it outclassed any Allied fighter. However, its late introduction and the impact of Allied bombing on production facilities limited its effect. The ME-262 was a glimpse into the future of aerial combat, but it arrived too late to change the outcome for Germany. Next is a Colossus of Steel, the Panzer VIII Maus, the heaviest tank ever built. Weighing a staggering 188 tons, this behemoth was Hitler's dream of an invincible war machine. Equipped with formidable armor and armaments, it was designed to break through any defense. However, its immense size and weight made it impractical. Only two prototypes were ever made and the mouse remained a gigantic what-if. From the skies to the stars, Nazi Germany's next wonder weapons were the V-1 and V-2 rockets. The V-1, a pioneering cruise missile, and the V-2, the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile were technological marvels of their time. The V-2, in particular, was a giant leap, laying the groundwork for space exploration. Yet, for all the advanced engineering, these rockets were not war-winning weapons. The terror could not compensate for the inaccuracy and the high cost of production. The heavy Gustav, a monstrous railway gun, was a feat of engineering. With a caliber of 800 mm, it was the largest caliber rifled weapon ever used in combat. Designed to destroy the heaviest fortifications, it saw limited use on the Eastern Front. The sheer size and logistical challenges of moving and assembling this Leviathan made it more of a marvel than a practical weapon. The heavy Gustav symbolized the extremes of wartime engineering, but its impact was more psychological than tactical. Our final weapon explores a chilling what if. What if Nazi Germany had developed the atomic bomb? While Germany had some of the world's foremost nuclear physicists, internal conflicts, a lack of resources and Allied bombing hampered their atomic program. The race for the bomb was lost to the United States Manhattan Project. 
the failure to develop an atomic weapon, despite their early lead, remains one of the greatest missed opportunities in military history for Germany. These five wonder weapons of Nazi Germany, advanced, formidable, but ultimately flawed, demonstrate the limits of technology in the face of broader strategic and logistical realities. They stand as a testament to human ingenuity and a somber reminder of the destructive potential of war. If you enjoyed this journey through the past and are curious about more stories that shaped our world, consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to leave a like if you appreciated this video and share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching.